Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! So, I actually have a secret. I've actually been learning how to crochet for the past week. I don't know, it might just be only me, but when I start a new hobby, I just want to focus. I just want to focus until I'm kind of okay at it. I've been crocheting and crocheting and crocheting, and I haven't really been able to make a video. So, I was like, why not just bring you guys with me on this crocheting journey? I just want to show you guys that when you pick up a new hobby, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to be really bad at it. You just need to keep on trying. And this week, I'm actually really busy. I actually have plans going on camping with my partner, and then strawberry picking, and then going to a strawberry festival with Emily from Emery Ritu. It's a very strawberry week. So I was like, why not just show you guys my whole week? So this week is going to be a whole bunch of crocheting and a little bit about my life. Put them together, and I just hope you guys really enjoy it. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. So this is what I crocheted in two weeks as a noob. Let's get started. Okay, first off, before anything, let me show you my creations from last week. I was not confident enough to film the progress. I mean, it's so bad. So I don't have any footage of the first week, but this is what I crocheted. Guys, are you ready? So this is my very first creation. Look, it's a headband! So this is actually supposed to be a hat. I tried to make this like kitty ear hat, but I ended up cutting it off and made it into a headband. It's not horrible, but I started off really tight and ended up loosening up, so now it kind of looks something like this. You know, like a trapezoid. Oh, some dog hair. Okay, to be honest, it's not too bad if you look from far away, but if you look at it really close, you can see all the flaws. Like, look at these holes in the middle. Some holes are so massive. Some holes are really, really tight. And there's some yarn sticking out, like here and here. I use this to wash my face at night, but let's be real, it's not that pretty. Next up, I think I tried making this pattern. So I tried this like bubble pattern, but it was like way too complicated. Look at the bubbles, it's so cute. It was definitely not for beginners. So again, I just ended it right here. And next, I tried making a hat again, which you can see that I definitely improved. I'm starting to loosen up. The lines look very straight, and it's stretchy. So I would say this is not that bad, but it was taking me way too long, so I decided to work on a different project. And then guys, I decided to work on this project. Ta-da! <laughs> So this is supposed to be another hat. I was like so determined to make a hat. But guys, <laughs> it looks so bad. I think this was like a great project to work on stitching. And I learned so much from it. But like, look at this edge. If you fold it up, you can see that one side is so much smaller than the other side. I was supposed to like close it up like so and like make it into a hat like this. I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna finish this hat. All I have to do is like sew up the ends. But I know it's just so bad, I wanna work on a different project. So today, I I actually want to try making a hat again. Ever since I saw Sakura-chan from Le Seraphim make a hat, I've been itching to make one myself. So guys, wish me luck! And I'm back. So it's been a good day and let me show you guys what I made yesterday and today. So guys, I finally, finally made a hat! Ta-da! Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of myself. It actually looks not that bad. Like even up close, you don't see that much flaws. I also added this fur ball on the top, which is around like $10. But I think it definitely adds a nice touch to this hat. I don't know, I actually think it's really cute. So if you fold it out, it's like this big. So you could kind of also change the size of the hat. Okay, let me try this on. It looks something like this. Since I trained myself with this project, I think I was like really steady for this one. So yeah, guys, practice makes perfect. Well, maybe not perfect, but better. However, I have to admit, I kind of messed up on this one as well. But at the end, I noticed that I was like missing like 10 stitches. But you know, you can't really tell, so I don't think it's a big problem. Oh, and I also made this strawberry. Like I said, this week is a very strawberry week, so I want to make like a lot of strawberries this week. Anyways, I'm going camping tomorrow and I'm gonna bring this with me. So yeah, let's get ready to go camping. And we are here. I have to say, this may be the best camping site ever. And I literally mean it. Look at the view. It's so so pretty so let me give you guys a quick tour because the sun is kind of setting down and it's kind of getting dark let's make this real quick be careful of the stairs and guys this is our room oh my gosh this tent is just so round and so cute but it is the inside what matters okay the reveal three two one 
Ta da! Oh my gosh! I have to say, everything is so aesthetic. I love the lights. It looks like a dandelion. And oh my gosh, the view. You guys need to see the view. I love this. By the way, it's really cold outside, but very warm inside. Very cozy. So here we have a TV, a chair, ooh, an olive tree, two beds with a bathroom. And what's on this side? Oh, they even have a mini planetarium. Let me see. Oh. <gasps> It looks like a small dinosaur egg. I mean, like, look at this fridge. Ooh, they've also got some tea. And look at all these different types of tea. Fruits, paradise, lemon glass. They have, like, everything. Ooh, let me try one. I wonder how much I would need. Okay, I mean, this organization, I need to take notes. Okay, let's check outside. Let me get my slippers on. So this is the tent, and over here is the dining area. Ooh, I haven't been inside here yet the barbecue area, and over here we have the fire pit. I'm definitely making a fire tonight. And we've got two chairs, and that's the toilet and the bathroom. So it looks something like this. It's a very, very standard Japanese bath. And by the way, my partner's inside the toilet, so let's just leave him alone. And I guess that's the tour, guys. Look at how pretty this looks. Okay, let's go back inside because it's getting really cold. Let's hurry. And we're back inside. Okay, so guys, I'm here today to rest and to crochet. Let me do a quick what's inside my bag. By the way, this is the bag that I got in my last video. I wonder if you guys noticed. I've got some yarn more yarn and just like a bunch of yarn i don't know how much i'm gonna use today so i just decided to bring the whole pack inside this bag i've got some needles like scissors and some crocheting needles a minion measure anyways today i want to make something a little bit special i thought this week is a very strawberry week so that is why i want to make a super huge strawberry plush as you can see from my creations i've never used anything this big before so i think it's gonna be a challenge. I wonder how big it's gonna turn out, like this big, I hope. We'll see. It's kind of getting a little bit dark, but tonight I'm just ready to crochet. Okay, let's get started. Let me look at my cheat sheet. I've been writing down all the patterns that I've done so far. Okay, starting over. Finally, the first row. This took me like 30 minutes. Chunky yarn is a lot harder than I thought. Okay, let's keep on going. So I know I keep saying I'm a noob, but it's actually not my very first time to pick up crocheting. The very, very first time was when I was like five or six. My grandmother taught me how to do it. I remember I was so focused. I was crocheting for like the entire day at her house, but I mean, I was five. Row four, and now we have a little cup. I think I was crocheting a scarf, but it turned out to look more like a bacon. And I remember my grandmother just laughed so, so much and pointed out all my flaws. Don't get me wrong, she's a lovely person and in her mind she was complimenting me. She says she was impressed with how focused I could be for being so young, but her laugh made me feel very upset. I get it now, if a 5 year old crocheted something horrible, I mean great effort. But you know, it's cute and funny. But back then, I felt like I was being laughed at for trying my best and it made me quit crocheting. It's also a great moment for me to remember because now I know if a child starts something new, never laugh at their first creations. Your first creations are going to be bad and it's okay. Just know that trying something new is already super impressive. Oh my god. So this is our dinner for tonight. So we've got some veggies and shiitake mushroom. And it's time to do some barbecue. And a cheese fondue. Let's go to the So update on the hat, it's doing okay. Not that great to be honest. As you can see, it's a little bit odd. Like this part, it has like this weird bump. And then there's also this like huge gap. Ah, oh, I'm still so bad. But you know, everyone's a noob when they start. You gotta start somewhere. Hopefully in like a year or so, I'm gonna be so much better. But for now, I'm happy with this. Yay. Yay. <laughs> 
Fast forward, when I was like 15 or something, I picked it up again. You know, I do love the idea of crocheting and knitting. I think it's like magic. You're literally waving a stick and when you twirl it around a bit, you can make anything. You can make like a bag, clothes, accessories, plushies. So I picked it up and made like two amigurumis, one bear and one bunny, which I still even have now. But I was like really busy with other arts and stuff. So after two creations, I quit but it's been years. I forgot almost everything and I think it's okay to call myself pretty much a noob again. Okay guys, so it is now around 11.30 p.m. We're ready to go to sleep. So I'm actually going to finish it right here. I'm almost done, but I want to keep this part open. I mean, why is crochet so hard? I mean, it's so different from other art projects. Crocheting is like a whole new type of art. By the way, um, you know what guys? I actually stayed awake for a few more hours after this because I decided to restart from scratch again. This time it didn't take me as long as my first one because I already knew how to work with the yarn and I had the pattern memorized. But yeah, I didn't film that part because I wanted to be like super comfortable. And around 2am, I went to sleep with this planetarium on. I have to say, it was like heaven. The next day. Good morning everyone! Today is such a beautiful day. I mean the river is rivering, the sky is skying, and the air is so fresh. Okay, what do we have here today? Ooh, sandwich! Mmm, and this basket is so cute. Tamago, tomato, tuna, corn. Tuna, corn, Oh! Mm. Mm. And I'm out of yarn. So it's actually time to check out now, so I'm just gonna stop right here. But I have to say, I think my second one is turning out a lot, lot better. Then we went on for a little walk outside. This is just a friendly reminder guys that if you haven't walked outside or touched nature in a while, go do it today. Or maybe sometime soon. No pressure guys. But I promise you won't regret. Okay, so guys, it's time to eat some strawberries. I'm so excited. Look at all the strawberries. They look so beautiful. So the rules, all you can eat for 40 minutes. Do not run, do not walk over it, try to pick them really nicely and eat till the end. And there's so many different kinds of strawberries. There's like 10 different kinds of strawberries. I want to try like every single strawberry. So this is my first one. Mmm. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. They all taste so different, but they all taste so good. Mm, this is super good. And I'm back. So the past day, I've been working on hats. A red beret hat. Let me try this out. It reminds me of my icon. I mean, not bad, right? I'm so happy because everything that I'm making is starting to turn out into something. Let me model for you. So this is my first one. By the way, this hat took me like three hours. And here is my second one, which is not really done yet. So this is how it looks from the front and the back. I want to use this when I go to the strawberry festival. And this is my second hat, front and back. Since this is not done yet, let me quickly finish it up. So many dog hairs. Does anyone have the same problem? I find hair in like all my projects and everywhere. Anyways. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. I'm just gonna pull it through and it looks something like this, but we're not done yet. So there's a reason why I chose brown for this project. It's because I wanted to make it into a pom-pom print hat. You know how pom-pom print has a beret hat? Yeah. So I went to a crafting store and got this. It's so cute. I felt like this was a little bit too big, but this was the only one that they had. And I wanna like put this somewhere around here. Let me check. I'm actually gonna take off the last row because it was a little bit too tight. Okay, it's definitely a lot better. So the question, where should I put this? Should I put it like right here so you could kind of see it more? Or I could put it like around here. I wanna be able to see Pom Pom Perrin. Okay, here we go. The moment of truth. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. What do you think? You know what guys? I think it'll be even cuter if I make like ears right here. But you know what? For now, I'm good. I'm just happy with these two beret hats. So this is my first strawberry. You saw me go really big. And then I went small to something like this. And then I went smaller. Okay, this one was a total fail, but smaller and smaller. It's like a raspberry. And then I went even smaller. I added some crystals and made it into an earring. And I think this is really cute. What do you guys think? So I just used this and this. Going big was really challenging, but going smaller is really tricky. I don't know, this may be something that I want to make in the future and like sell it or something. And if so, how much do you guys think it should be? The start is always the trickiest for me. So it now looks something like this and I'm just gonna stuff it with some tissues. It's high quality premium tissue, guys. I just hope that that makes a difference. I'm just stuffing it in there and let's just cover this whole up. I'm just gonna put dots all over. And I'm just gonna add some crystals. And I'm just gonna continue this until I'm satisfied. And here we've got a pair of earrings. I still need some more practice because as you can see, it's not identical. This one's a little bit bigger than this one, but overall, this might be my favorite out of all. Oh, and I actually just got this from the convenience store. I know, convenience store in Japan sells really weird stuff, but this is a pouch and I think it's perfect to store all my crochet stuff. Ta-da! Oh, it's bigger than I thought. So the needles go right here. And then some random tools, some more tools. I'm just gonna put it in right here. Some needles. <laughs> it looks fat now. We'll see how this works. Then I went to a strawberry festival and I actually wore my white and red hat. And to my surprise, no one noticed that it was handmade. I felt so accomplished. By the way, if you guys are interested, Emi Richie will have a video up on more about this, so please check it out. So the strawberry plush. I think you could tell how disformed this looks. There's like weird bumps here and there. It kind of speaks for itself. And this is my second creation. A lot smoother. Overall, a hundred times better. I was honestly feeling a little bit comfortable with crocheting. I could tell that there's a lot more to improve. So yeah, crocheting is all about practice. Practice, practice, and practice. So here's another proof that practice makes better. I think I'm gonna say goodbye to this one. Let me just leave it to the side and let's finish this one up together. So first off, let's stuff it up with cotton. I wonder how much I'm gonna need. It's turning into a plush. It's so cute. It's starting to close up. You use a lot of hand muscles for bigger crochets. And it looks something like this. Now onto the leaf. And it's gonna look something like this. I kinda see it. And we are finally done with the strawberry plush. Um, <laughs> I think it'll look a lot more like a strawberry if I added the seeds. You know what? I'm going to give this like a 6 out of 10. I mean, she kind of looks like a carrot or a tomato. But I mean, I think you could tell that it's a strawberry. So after two weeks, this is the end result. 
I just picked out the ones that you could actually kind of use. I've got a headband, strawberry earrings, a strawberry plush, a beanie, and two beret hats. They're not all like perfect in any way, but I think I improved a lot and I'm just so proud of myself. By the way, I'm not gonna stop right here. I actually want to make like a super huge plush and when I mean huge, I mean huge, but we'll see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!